Jim, it's great to see so many people in here today. Uh, we came in the last game and we said we was going to bring some different people to you. And I'm delighted today that we've got, if, if he's not one of our, old, our best favourites, he should be. Because when he played at this football club, we had some great times. We had some great times with you. I mean, I, the best moment I remember of him was at Old Trafford. That night, who were there? There you go. <laughs> when he scored that first goal, when he scored that first goal, I don't think I've ever been as happy in all my life. It was it was absolutely brilliant, and if they had to move Robbo up to centre forward that night, up to centre midfield, sorry, I think we would have won that game. So we give a warm welcome to Jamie Ireland. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, what we're going to do, Jamie's going to say a few words and then we'll have a few questions eh? and, and see how it goes. Jamie Ireland. Hello. Um, I, d I didn't know we were going to say a few words, but um, obviously, uh, very football club, what can I say? It made me, it made me, a, it made me a footballer. Um, I started at Manchester City and made my debut at 17, lucky enough to score. Tapping from about a yard, by the way. And then four years later, went to see the manager, thought great stuff, get a new contract. And Mr. McNeil said to me, I'm releasing you. So I thought, oh, bloody hell, that's not good. 20 year old, just about to buy my first house, and I've got released. What do I do? So, as it happened, I got this phone call off this gentleman called Martin Dobson. And this is no word of a lie. I know this sounds daft, but you've got to remember, I lived in South Manchester and I'm a Sheffield lad. He went, would you like to sign for Berry? And my next question was, where's Berry? <laughs> I haven't got a clue where bloody Berry was. He said, well listen, if you get on the, um, whatever it was, A56, come through Manchester, get on A56, go there, there's a shell garage, ask where Berry Football Club is, gig lane, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. So I came over, Met Dobbo, who was like, meeting him, I mean obviously I knew what a player he was and everything and, and what a man he was, he was like meeting my guru, he was brilliant, I, I thought I can play for this bloke, this is superb. Sat down, sorted my first deal out, obviously 10 grand a week, going up to 12 grand a week, <laughs> or was it 100 pound a week, going up to 120 pound a week, and signed it straight away, done, sorted. And, and that's how it started, 1986, thought fantastic, signed for a great club, and then at the time they signed Baldrick, Liam Robinson, uh, Pete Buckler who they signed, I think, uh, who else came in, Brian Flynn, Alan Taylor, and it was a mix, and I thought, great, get playing football now, no problem. I didn't realise though I had to earn my place in team. <laughs> so for a few weeks it was a bit like, what's happening, and, uh, got, and eventually Dobbo got me in, I think we played Crystal Palace away, uh, nice debut, I think it was Ian Wright and Mark, uh, Mark Bright I played against and we lost 1-0 at Sellers Park. I thought, right, this is real, what real football's about. And that season, um, he changed me, believe it or not, he changed me from, uh, I'd played centre forward and then I went to centre half and then Dobbo went, I'm going to play in midfield. Midfield? I'd never, ever, ever played midfield before and I played Chesterfield away at Salter game, first ever game. And I just remember this ball going like that, and me just going like that, thinking, what's going on? And you lot going, what the bloody hell is he doing in the middle of midfield? <laughs> <coughs> and after that, it was great because he, 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 was a, he, he taught people what to do. He was brilliant. He loved the young lads and developed them on. And, it, and like I say, he made me into a player. And um, so, did, so did a few, like David Lee, Baldrick Azaselli, and Phil Parkinson, and we all, Andy Hill, we all came through and loved our time here. And like I said to Net and, and people downstairs, I love coming back, it's great. It's a, it's, a, it's a great little club, which is a little club, and it'll always be that, but it's the little club which you all love. And I'm so pleased this season that it's still here, and everybody's putting the money in, and hopefully get behind it and get some results as well. I mean, I've seen us play quite well against Accrington and Cheltenham, and then so us play bloody rubbish at Rochdale week after. So it's gonna take a bit of time, 
a bit of patience, but I, I think I think he's got a chance of getting in the playoffs this season. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I, my funny story, my funny story, play for Berry, and it's nothing to do with actually being on the football field. It's Pat. No, 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 Pat. God rest his soul. Remember when we remember that game at Man United? Anybody remember it? Well, we took 9,000 there, if you remember. And then on the Saturday, we played Bristol Rovers here, and there were 2,500. So where all the 6,500 went, I don't know. But we played, and, and Sir Alex Ferguson, he was Alex Ferguson then, came to the game. And uh, he walked in, and Pat said to him, uh, Oh, we're, we're, we're Old Trafford on Wednesday, yeah, yeah, great, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, did you enjoy the game? Oh, it was brilliant, yeah, we loved it, great atmosphere, went 1-0 up. This brilliant midfield player scored, put us 1-0 up, once to edge of the box, knocked it in. And he looked at it, yeah, yeah, and he, he said, yeah, yeah, but we came back in it and knocked you out and all like that. So as he's walking away, she just took him and went, you don't know if an umbrella was handed in, do you? <laughs> And that is, I swear to God, that's what she asked the manager of Manchester United. You don't need an umbrella around in India. <laughs> right, let's do a few questions. We'll do three or four. Anybody want to start us off? I know a bit. Yes, sir. Don't be from Chippen, can ask anybody. They know too much. Jayden. Quite simply. We're at Sheffield every year, yeah? What a travelling thing, back and forth. Everyone thinks being a football coach is dead easy. I don't know how many hours are involved. Uh, I don't know how the back of the... I can tell you that, he's just asked, being a football coach, how many hours is involved doing it? If you ask my wife, probably 24-7, because unfortunately I'm addicted to football, that's been the thing, so... When I used to go to Sheffield, I'd get up at like, probably... Quarter six in the morning, take dog for a walk around the park quickly, get in my car at quarter past six and then get over at Snake Pass every morning. Get into Sheffield probably about eight o'clock. We'd start training, whatever, do two two sessions, three sessions a day, and then get in the car and come home probably about six o'clock, get home at half seven and fall asleep watching watching whatever. So I, to be fair, it can be as many hours or as little hours as you want it to be. I've worked with people who as little hours as they want it to be and they're off. But if, if you're passionate about it and you love your job and you enjoy your job, you, you'll do it all the time. And, and, I, and I mean that by watching when I come home, it drives wife by me, but I watch, I've got this BT Sport now and it's fantastic, it's French, it's German, there's everything on it. So she's, she goes by me, but unfortunately that she'll have to put up with that or else I'll be on to Mrs. Island number three. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> this looks like an easy day, Gemma. Well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously... Oh, sorry. There we go. Go on, sir. Jamie, how many matches have you seen Vegas this year? How many matches have you seen? One, two, three. Four. Four. What do you reckon the chances are this year? What do you reckon the chances are? Eh, chances, chances. I, th I think they've got a chance of getting the playoffs with, the, with the, the squad they've got, but it's got to gel together. And I'm, I'm not a believer in all this, you know, we've got rid of all these players in summer. You know, it's going to take to, the, a lot of the players, they're not young lads, aren't they? They're, a lot of them are experienced players, and if you're footballers, you know what you're doing anyhow, or else you won't be getting paid to be a footballer. So it should just click together. But obviously, it's, where, it's a, where's the means of, of that coming together? Um, they need to put a little run together. I mean, they've had a lot of they've had a lot of away games, uh, which is which is hard for them. But they now, now need to start winning at home, which which they have done. I've seen like Accrington, Cheltenham, where they've played really, really well, and they just need to get that little click, and then that gives belief in the squad as well. But you don't want to see the away game. Yeah. The actual four legs in the away game, not the the away game. <laughs> I think, you see when I played here, when I, and, and I know it's, but it's still the same thing, you still try and put the ball in the back of the net and the lines are the same and you play with a round ball, you know, we believed in what we played, we had David Lee, Mark Patterson, uh, Liam Robinson and whoever played with him, myself and Parkey and Neil, uh, I can't remember, left by him, 
book, Pashia, and then we went to <laughs> but we, we believe we believed in, in how we play 4 4 2, that were it, and we, we believe we were better than teams who we played against, so we'd go and do it. Last question, you get paid for the day, it's time to get a column. I'm unemployed at the moment, so I need anything I can get at the moment, to be honest. Right. <laughs> Is that it? Any more? One more. Why did you just give money back? <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanks for your support again. It's great seeing people in this room. I, I love it. We should have done this years ago. This room's been closed too many times when I've come here. But I'd like you all to just thank Jeremy for giving his time up today to come and talk.